take this current kind of and a light bulb. Three minutes and 13 seconds of a light bulb being screwed in. <coughs> I'm really bad at those rim shots. All right, that's it. I'm no good at killing time, you guys. I mean, I could read to you. I'll read to you. You know what? We're gonna find. I'm gonna make up some background music. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make up background music. This is gonna be fun. And I'll read to you a random page from My Life in the Bush of Ghosts by Amos Tutola. There will go all of my viewers. <laughs> Wait, come back. <laughs> I'm going to play drums while I do it, I promise. Yeah, that's going to be my thing. We're going to see if we can read and play drums at the same time. And this is a bizarre book, by the way. You should read it. It's crazy. It's been out of print for a long time now. So good luck finding it. Oh, those carry me out long in the bush. He was trying his best to kill the animals. Yeah, he was. But his bad smell was suspecting him that he was coming, so they were running away before he could catch them. Not kill an animal unless it sleeps. But I was hearing him when he was discussing either to eat me. Luckily, an animal was passing at the time, and he started to chase it until he saw the half dead animal, and he was totally helpless. Totally helpless. Stuck there and began to eat it, eat it. Voraciously. Voraciously. And to my surprise, he was cutting some of the animal into pieces. pieces. Giving him snakes. snakes. Which, which one would every part of his body? After he was satisfied with this animal, he put together with the blood on the animal, all in a bag, and it fell on my head as a heavy load. After that, he got up. Kept going. 